Alright, what's up everybody? This is Drew Leachman, Frustrated Fury here. Gonna give you a uh, nice little taste, breaking the seal of Train Simulator 2012. Now, Train Simulator 2012 is actually a sequel to Railworks 2, or maybe Railworks 2011. Can't really remember. But um, it's basically a free upgrade if you own that game. But they're also, you can also just pick this up by itself. And, um, yeah, I played a few of the, uh, scenarios. And, um, yeah, uh, let me just show you exactly what we're doing here. So you can choose to do scenarios by certain trains. So you can get all, you got steam, you got diesel, you got electric. Um, all these scenarios are completely different. He, duration, 25 minutes. When they say that, they really mean that it's going to be 25 minutes long. That's how long it's going to take you to do this. Same way with 85 minutes. And then there's some that are really long. 100 minutes, very hard, stuff like that. And it's all different types of situations. You got, you know, oh, uh, raging storm causes much destruction. So it's basically a train has... Uh, broken down so you are in another train you have to push it to its destinations it, it, it's things like that small things um I've, I've completed that one actually um let's see here yeah but I mean it, if you like trains yeah sure I think it's um I think it's a decent game in fact that you know I'll just show you a um I'll show you a tutorial I've already done this tutorial drive with simple controls um and we'll just play this one. The loading times are something to be desired. Very, very desired. Um, as you'll probably see here. In fact, I might even edit this out. But, um, yeah. Apparently you can do Steam, Facebook, nothing. It looks like a basket. And then Railworks. I don't really want to click on those because I don't want to mess up the loading. But yeah, games, it's train simulator. I mean, if you're really into trains, yeah, sure, you'll like this. If you're looking for something to waste time with, there may be other things that you could probably waste your time with. But, I'm not going to say that. Well, I did just say that. And we're still loading. And we have a commercial for Train Simulator 2012 Horseshoe Curve Expansion Pack. They have a ton of expansion packs for this thing. Tons of them. All on Steam. Like, I think around maybe 99 cents. Maybe, you know, a couple bucks here and there. Which, I mean, you know, if you're into this game, if you're really big into this game, which there must be a lot of people who are into this game because they are making them every single year and updating them, there's a ton of content out there for people. I mean, for God's sake, so there's added horseshoes. But, um, it's out now, by the way, in case you didn't notice. So, yeah. Still loading. Still loading. Just all right. Here we go. Now you hear that. Welcome, driver. Pop-up messages like this will provide you helpful instructions. All right. Since I've already seen this, I really don't need to go through this. Simple controls are real easy. Simple controls. Basically, you move this bar up to give it throttle, and you hit that button to either go forward or back. Very, very simple. All right. Uh. The objective, which you, you'll see down at the bottom here, uh, you got to go to this platform and pick up some people. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of different camera angles. You can look outside the uh, there. You can be inside the kind of like the cockpit here, which you can move around a little bit. Um, you can have the, the Grand Theft Auto uh, dynamic kind of a view, and the ones that I like to watch are the the helicopter ones, which you can. You know, you can choose to zoom out if you'd like, you know, which I like, I like to get about right here. Watch it from right here. So, yeah, let's get this party started. We're going to start going. It takes a little while to start going. 
But when it does, baby, you better hold on. Let's grow it 100%. Let's do this. But yeah, the game has a bunch of different types of scenarios that you have, and there are a ton of them. Um, the electric, I believe, is probably the easiest to uh, to get a hold of, mainly because, you know, you don't have to... I mean, you do have to worry about it. You, there are different... Oh, you're speeding. Oh, no, I'm speeding. Um, well, I need to slow it down some. So you just bring it back down, which I'm almost at the, uh, the test track platform anyway. But yeah, we can watch it right here. It's coming on into the test track. Let's just put it down. Let's um, let's just stop. I'll stop before I go past the platform, please. And we are stopped. Awesome. So right now, you see this bar right here is basically showing you people getting on and off the train. Um, let's zoom in a little bit here. There's some people. They look happy. Let's let's look at this guy right here. There's people on the bus, which you can actually look at people on the bus. Loading passengers. Okay, we're done with that. All right. Say so, hey, that guy is waiting on this friggin' ride to start. Let's go. This guy's relaxing. I wonder, since, you know, I mean, here's what I do. I play games when I'm, you know, killing zombies or, you know, uh, trying to fight terrorism and stuff like that. You're, you're trying to, always trying to just stop something bad from happening or just, just murdering stuff, stealing cars, stuff like that. But I like to relax sometimes and, and drive trains. That's what I like to do. That guy, he likes it too. He, he You can tell. Look at him. He's just, he is just relaxed. He's ready to go. Um, but yeah. So uh, let's go back out here. And uh, we'll zoom out. So it's wanting us to, in the tutorial here, to pull forward up to this reverse point. And then... Um, that is loud. Let's just zoom on out a little bit more here. But yeah, it's wanting us to pull on to this reverse point, get here, then turn back around. It's basically just a test. It's real simple. I'm uh, just going to give you a taste of what actually you'll see here. Because this is basically... Yeah, there's scenarios, but I mean, you're still driving a train. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is the simple controls. This is also an electric. So it's very simple to uh, to learn. Um, in fact, this may not be an electric one. In fact, it's not. It's a diesel. So there you go. But, uh... Yeah, right here is... Uh, for the reverse point, so let's just stop right here. Ooh. Can we please stop right here? I'm almost to the reverse point. You see, the, you, you get docked points and stuff like that, or not necessarily points, but they'll give you a good, hey, you shouldn't do that. Um, yeah. And I'm at the reverse point. Game pause, well done. You have driven far enough. Bring your locomotive to a stop. Done. All right, and now they want us to go in reverse. I guess they want us to go ahead and go in reverse. Okay, so let's hit that button right there. Start going in reverse. There's the horn. That's fun. You can also ring the bell, all this other stuff. This all stuff is more light for complicated, more, um, you know, whenever, whenever you're actually getting into the manual controls more than the simple controls. So I got to back back up to the test track platform, but I have an idea. Since I'm just giving you a real quick taste of what this game has to offer, how about we have a little bit of carnage? You see, because I believe that Bruce Willis is on this train. And he can't die. So let's find out. So we're going to kill everybody on this train by derailing the shit out of it. If I can get it up to a fast enough speed.
<laughs> Horn sounds stupid. All right, let's go. So I see that the track stops right up here. I wonder if I will get enough speed to derail this sucker. Well, let's find out. Hopefully I can get at least 50 miles an hour. This is actually how I play this game. I don't necessarily play it uh, normally. Where's the track end at? 53 miles an hour. 54. Oh no. Oh no, Bruce, hang on. Boosh! And there it is. And it spins around like something bad happened. Well. <sighs> player train derailed. Game over error. Damn. Looks like Bruce Willis went on that one. Oh well. That's why they call me Mr. Glass. But anyway. <laughs> fucking lame. So yeah. Train Simulator 2012 is fucking exhilarating. Alright, I, I, I'm giving it a hard time. The game's not that bad. I mean, yeah, sure. If you like trains, you're going to like this game. Um, if you like simulation games, flight simulator, stuff like that. Granted, a flight simulation would probably be a little bit more fun. But... Yeah, that's Train Simulator for you. I did the tutorial. I mean, I will show you some more if you'd like. I mean, we got drive-by routes. There's all these different routes here, different scenarios. There are a ton of scenarios. This game will easily last you, you know, 20, maybe 30 hours just doing this stuff. So, there's a lot of content here, and it's actually quite impressive, you know. There's all these different trains. Look at how many freaking diesel trains there are. And there's there's stuff for each one of them. Well, not that one. For some reason. Or that one. Lost in the shuffle. Stuff like that. I mean, there, there's a ton of stuff here. If you're into trains, yeah, sure. Give it a shot. But as far as... <laughs> as far as... Mr. Call of Duty player... You might, might want to stay air clear of this game. Unless you like derailing trains and playing, playing kill people, the game, which is Train Murder Simulator 2012. But yeah, that's the game. The end. That's all I got for you. All aboard. <laughs>